Hi everybody and welcome to the shit. Which one was this? <laughs> Coffee Break Podcast. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the Coffee Break Podcast. I'm Kyle. I'm Amy. And this is the Coffee Break Podcast. I've been up since 2 o'clock in the morning, so don't mind me. No. That's why I need coffee. Yes, that's why I brought the coffee. Yay, coffee! Hooray for coffee. Sponsored Yay. by Dunkin' Donuts, but not really. Unofficially. Mm-hmm. Right, Well, America so, does run on Dunkin', but mostly Master Control does. Pretty much. You need to speak up. Okay. Or move closer to the microphone. Yes, move yes. closer to the microphone. Yes. <clears throat> so... Things and stuff. And stuff and things. Yay. Yay. Okay, so have you gotten your uh, Night Vale book yet? No, it's been like an ongoing saga. It really has. My friend Katie... Okay, first of all, I pre-ordered the book uh, in July, right? Right. Pre-ordered it in July. However, this was when I was still living up in Syracuse. So I had it originally... Well, I wasn't planning on moving. Anyways... (laughs) In Binghamton now. Uh, So I ordered it back in July. So I had to go... First of all, I didn't want to cancel the order because I was like, well, if I can just change the address, like, I don't have to cancel it, and then they'll still be priority, you know, in a priority order. Well, anyways, I had to end up canceling the order, but I still ordered it, uh, like, a month before. I I ordered it, like, September 15th. Um, And they still had the signed copies, because that was the whole point, was to get the signed copies of the book. And, okay, Tuesday comes around. Who was it signed by? Uh, The authors and creators of Night Vale, Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. Yay! Yay! Um, Okay, so Tuesday came around, the book came out on Tuesday, and I'm waiting. I'm, you know, I'm up at 2 a.m., so I've been at work watching my Barnes & Noble's account like a hawk you know, refreshing constantly, uh, and my book hasn't shipped. Wednesday, my book hasn't shipped. Thursday, my book hasn't shipped. Friday, my book hasn't shipped. Friday at a, about 1 p.m., I get an email from Barnes & Noble saying, we're really sorry, but your order has been delayed. They don't give a reason. They just say that it's been delayed for un- for the foreseeable future. <laughs> So it has been an ongoing saga, whereas my friend Katie, who ordered the book, I want to say probably, uh, maybe July, possibly August, uh, Snapchatted me this afternoon with pictures of her book, <laughs> with the cover, with the sign, sign page and everything, and I am exceedingly jealous. So who knows when I'm actually going to get this. However, if you get this, if I get this, I think they may have sent it to the desert (laughs) otherworld. Possibly. You were just there. I know, and I just came back, and I I should have just stayed, I guess. I don't, I don't know, but but the good thing was that I had already pre-planned to purchase the audiobook, along with having the physical copy. So I've been listening to the audiobook. So it's not like I've been denied Night Vale. Because I would have thrown a shit fit if I've been denied Night Vale. <laughs> Let me tell you. Because if there's anything I'm obsessed with, it is this stupid podcast. And when I say stupid, I mean stupid in the nicest stupid way. Stupid, really, stupidly, ridiculously good. Yes, exactly. I get a little aggressive when I love things too much. Like corgis and fluffy animals. Yes, especially corgis and fluffy animals. It's a little, a little intense. So that's been my ongoing saga with the book. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, it is an entire, it is a saga in every sense. I have no idea when they're going to ship it. Hopefully Monday! But that remains to be seen. So tune in next week. <laughs> well, you can still cancel your order and get one of the unsigned copies. I could. But then it wouldn't be signed. <laughs> It's this not, is true. It's not like they, they haven't charged my account because they said that's their policy, is that they'll they charge your charge account. They until they ship it. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I just don't know. I just want the book in my well, grubby little grabby hands. If that, that guy didn't say, hey, do you want a job back in Binghamton? You wouldn't have never canceled your order and you might have that book in your hands now that is true so it's that guy's fault it is that guy's fault that damn guy i know damn that guy 
offering you a full time job closer to home, blah blah blah. What a jerk. Yeah, Stab him on the leg next time you see him. Alright, I will do that. Right, so what else we got? Well, um, do we want to just keep going on subjects that I like? Cause I can... Yeah, might as well. Okay. You know, I, I kind of sort of talk with the rest of the people on the Geek okay. Yoga podcast. Well, good. Got that out of your system. Because I'm, I'm really kind of sick of hearing Back to the Future Day. I mean, I under, like, it's a big deal. I get it. Only came around once. Cool. But hearing about it six times in the, in the course of my day was a little overkill. But not, not really... Because October 21st is, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to have to check, but I think that happens every year. October 21st does happen every year. However, I do understand that it was October 21st, 2015. Yeah, but I, I was thinking about this the other day. What, what's, do you think that uh, October 21st every year was considered... Uh, Back, Back to, to the, the future, future day, or was it just that specific day? Well, I mean, but then would you consider every other day that they went? I mean, I know that's the specific one in the second movie, correct? Right. Um, do you remember what day they went back in the first? Because then would that day be considered Back to the Future Day 2? Would you have multiple Back to the Future days? Why not? If you want, that's fine. I'm not necessarily a I part guess, of this fandom. Well, I guess that I should. I'm not really. I, I love the movies, but I'm not really a fan. Yeah. But I guess I'm going to have to look that up, see if there's an official Back to the Future Today. Day. Because there is Star Wars Day. Yes. There's Pie Day. Yes. Well, that's because pie is delicious. So. Yes. But. But every year there's Pie Day, there's Star Wars Day. Right. Christmas well, Day for some people. Well, Groundhog's Day is a thing. Yeah, so every day has a day. I mean, there is talk like a pirate day. Yeah. And there's, you know, kind of ridiculous holidays like that. Not that I'm saying that this would be a ridiculous holiday. This would be one of the more quirky holidays is what I'm saying. Kind of like talk like a pirate day is quirky. Yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. Not like, you know, Guy Fox Day, which I don't really know what Guy Fox Day is. I just know it's a thing. What? Okay, so yes. strange days. Every day has something special. Has some special yes. holiday. Yes. Everybody, somebody comes up with something for every. Like day. I know that there's National Peanut Butter Day, National Wash Your Hands Day. <laughs> I, it's really. Yeah, I, yeah, National Wash Your Hands Day was what like last. Yes. Thursday, Wednesday. <laughs> so should Thursday. you only wash your hands on that yes, specific day? Yes, only wash day. your hands. Even when you take a shower, wear gloves so you can okay. only wash your, your hands. hands. Like, does it make that day any more special, no, really? it really doesn't. But does May the 4th, like, that's that's the, that's the Star Wars day, right? Uh -huh. Okay, I know it's something sometimes, occasionally. Right, because um, it makes sense. Yes, May the 4th, May the 4th be May with the you. May the 4th, May the 4th. Yep. Right, okay. Uh, so, yes, but does May the 4th, you know, make it any more special? Does it make it more Star Warsy? Um, maybe. Eh? Because... From what I've heard, Star Wars was... Uh, the first six Star Wars were all released in May. It could have been on May f May the 4th that it was released, but I'm not sure. That Everybody's I don't up in arms because the new one's not coming out until December, but they yes. want it in May. Well, but, hey, whatever. Yes. Star Wars. Another thing that I'm not really into... I know that's gonna get rocks thrown at me eventually. It's so. a thing. Yeah. I like the movies. I'm, yeah. I'm not ingrained into that culture, nor am I ingrained into Star Trek, but I yes. enjoyed the shows. I enjoy the movies. Yeah. I mean, if you know, not not that this would happen, but if someone came in here and pointed a gun to my head and say, "Star Trek or Star Wars," I'd go with Star Trek, just because that was more of like what I watched growing up. I don't consider myself well, a trekker because yeah, that's weird. Star Trek is, in general, Star Trek, the, the conglom conglomerate that is Star Trek, is bigger than what Star Wars is because yes. Star Wars, although it does have some animated shows, yes. it's mostly movies. Yes. Star Trek has had movies. It started out as a TV show. And now it's, it's been had multiple TV four shows. Four or five spinoffs. Yes. So. And they've, they've done, like, six movies with the original Star Trek cast. 
and then the and all then the, all generations and all of the, the new generation and I don't know if there was a Voyager movie or not. I, uh, but. I see. I'm. I've only watched the original Star Trek series, and I know that I need to watch it with Picard. It's on my Netflix queue, guys. It's. I'll get to it at a point. Generations, next generations with Picard, Voyager with Janeway. Yeah. Deep Space Nine with some other guy. Yes. Um, Star Trek what was the last one. Star Trek Enterprise with, with yes. Scott Bakula. Yes, Bakula. And then I know that eventually they did an animated series of Star Trek. Yes. They did. They did in the '60s with the original yes. cast. Yes. With, uh, Shatner, Shatner and Nimoy and, and Nimoy and all of them. That was in the '70s. I think. Yes. So. Star yes. Trek. That's Star Trek. And next we have Gilmore Girls. Totally yes. changing Gilmore gears. Gilmore Girls. Yeah, let's from go. It's, geeky yeah. things to geeky girly things. Let's geeky girly things that reference to. Okay, that's one of the things that I loved about Gilmore Girls is that they were so like pop culture reference. Right. Referency. And if you, that's why I love because I okay I own all of the DVDs. <laughs> However, I'm watching it all on Netflix again. Because they, it, I think it came out. They put it out on Netflix like a year ago. Okay, but it's it's kind of easier. I mean, you can just keep you don't have to playing. move. You don't have to switch discs or anything. If you got a catheter, you wouldn't even have to get up and go to the bathroom. That's true. <laughs> but I didn't buy a catheter. Oh so. crap! Sorry, sorry guys. Um, anyways, I bought all the DVDs, so I have them. And if you bought, you know them as they came out I don't know about they came out with a box set at some point um, that they had like little pop culture guides and you could actually like look up and reference to <laughs> they had like a little composition -y notebook which was pretty cool that you know where you could be like oh what are they talking about when she's referring to moon doggy oh she's yes. talking about the movie Gidget um, Okay. That you don't get with the Netflix. However, with the Netflix, the Netflix. Does, does the composite notebook have some kind of reference to Gilmore Girls? No, or? it's just like a, a guide. Oh, okay. A guide. Um, so, it has been alleged, but not exactly confirmed by Netflix themselves. It's been reported by TV Line and Variety that uh, they are reviving Gilmore Girls for at least... A season, a like season six of episodes or so. Apparently, they are going to do four ninety-minute episodes. Okay. So I take, I'm going to interpret this as I'm going to equate it to Sherlock in a way, which is going to sound weird, I know, but Sherlock is essentially an hour and a half for one episode. Yeah. They're basically a movie, and that's essentially what they're turning Gilmore Girls into. Now, Gilmore Girls normally runs. 42 minutes per episode, and now they're going to be, you know, an hour and a half, which is nice. No commercial breaks, 42 minutes, so you're getting two episodes, two original episodes per episode Netflix puts yes, out. Yes, so. exactly. So you'll get eight episodes. Right. Right, and but I think this is really great for fans. Um, as, as the years have gone by, we've come to find out that... Uh, that uh, they, the cast and the crew and the writers, no one knew that they were exactly going to get cancelled. So there wasn't really like a big giant, you know, wrap it up and tie it up with a bow kind of ending. Which was weird, and especially it added to the weirdness because uh, the creator, Amy Sherman Palladino, and her husband, Daniel Palladino, who created the show, uh, during, between season six and season seven, had some sort of contract dispute with Warner Brothers, and they were then, they left the show in the final season. So then uh, the executive producer, David S. Rosenthal, <laughs> kind of took over and then was just like basically handed a shit sandwich because Amy, in the last episode, Amy Sherman Palladino just kind of fucked some shit up. Like, <laughs> Luke had a kid all of a sudden, broke Luke and Lorelai up at the end. Uh, and then just things just kind of got weirder as the season kept going. Like, Lane got pregnant when she was in a band, and it just, it seemed odd. So, 
And I know in a recent interview that Amy Sherman Palladino herself said that she never even watched the seventh season. <laughs> so I'm very curious to see if she's just gonna... If she herself has to go back and watch the last season of her own show, <laughs> which it's just kind of strange, but like, is she going to acknowledge that at all? I mean, I would hope so, just for continuity of the show. Did they have the seventh season all written out? Or was it just like notes where this could happen, this will happen? I'm not exactly 100% sure. Well, get Amy on the line then, Dan. <laughs> I will try. But uh, the good thing is, is that a lot of people were, I mean, the show is essentially, is turned into a cult classic. Yeah. Um, it's, it's kept up and or has gotten, you know, more expansive as the years have gone by. I mean, it, it's, it's just, it's one of those shows that definitely deserve to be revived. And I think that the fans, including myself, are very happy to see what happened to all of these characters. Right. <laughs> what the hell happened because there wasn't a nice season finale or series finale wrap up so uh the daughter rory rory yes uh turned into a hooker moved <laughs> to sin city and got shot in the face that too and and then she was also on Mad Men. and the mom uh had a thing for santa claus Yes, she did. <laughs> and got with a bad Santa. Yes, yeah, she got with a bad and he Santa. And got shot in the face. And then went and, you know, went and, uh, I need more coffee. Went and <laughs> was on Parenthood. I can't come up with anything quippy since I never actually watched the show. Oh, she was also a uh, principal at a school. Oh, was she? At Finn Diesel. Um, right, that was her. I don't know. Pacifier? Oh, maybe. Well, she looks she could be the principally type. Principally. Principally. I, I enjoyed her in in Bad Santa. Cause it was it, it was the first thing that I saw her in outside of Gilmore Girls, where she was kind of the um, motherly looking. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And then into Bad Santa, where she became. You know, it's skankish and. <laughs> well, I mean, in Gilmore Girls, clothes. she kind of got pregnant at 16, so. Draw your own conclusions. But she wasn't exactly as right. pure as Driven Snow in Gilmore Girls, is all. I'm she saying. had that really white skin, though. She always had red lipstick. Yes. So like she always. did kind of look like Snow White. Holy yes. shit, now I'm putting that together. <laughs> well, good. We'll come back to that. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, a lot of the cast has been announced that they are all in, that they're coming back, that they're very excited. Some of the cast members, we don't know if they're going to come back. I know for one for sure that's not coming back. Oh, who? Herman. Oh, yes, Edward Herman, who unfortunately died of a brain tumor in the last. Uh, what was it? It's almost. It was six seven years. years. It's been well, seven. It been seven years. Uh, not since he died, but seven oh, years since the, the show has been on. I did the math, and I thought it was like this year that he died. Yes, he died. He passed away very recently, and apparently they didn't know that he was even sick because he was just that kind of person. He didn't mm. really want to bother anybody with it. So unfortunately, Edward Herman is not coming back. Um, Alexis Pladell, Lauren Graham, uh, Luke Patterson, or Luke Patterson, Scott Patterson, who plays Luke. <laughs> is going to be back on the show. Um, so, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see Grandpa ever again, which is kind of sad. But uh, And then we don't Grandpa know what's... Grandpa Herman. Grandpa Herman. We're not going to be able... But then the other thing is that we weren't... We weren't... We don't know... I mean, Melissa McCarthy's career is kind of blown up after Gilmore Girls. I mean, she's won Emmys for Mike and Molly. She's been doing movies. And honestly, I... If I were to choose who was the most successful after Gilmore Girls, I would definitely go with Melissa McCarthy. She was Suki in the show, the chef, Lorelai's best friend, who owned the inn. You have no idea what I'm talking about. I, I, I just, it's not, it's not coming to mind that she was in that show. Was she, had she been there the entire yes, time? Yes, the entire, the entire season. Huh, okay. Because, uh, uh, 
her and Suki wanted to own an inn, and then they eventually opened an inn, an inn on the show, but now they're like, well, Melissa's kind of really in high demand, you know, because Mike and Molly is still going on. Uh, she's, I think she, she just released Spy with, um, uh, bald guy Jason Statham. Yes. This past year, and Jude Law. Like, who wouldn't want to be in that movie? <laughs> well, um, Ed Herman. That's oh, who. okay. Well, touche. Uh, but honestly, like her, she has been the most successful. I mean, we've seen Alexis Bledel maybe here and there. I mean, yes, Lauren Graham was on Parenthood, but I felt like Parenthood was for the longest time teetering for years. Are they going to get canceled? Are they going to get canceled? And then they were like, we're just going to wrap up the show while we have a chance, <laughs> which I think was probably the best way to go. And Lauren Graham definitely mentioned the fact that, you know, they, she never knew that... I've got nothing else to do but me and something else. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> that, uh, that, um... Sorry if I spit on you just now. Um... <laughs> I don't think you did. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, that... I lost my point. Lauren Graham. Lauren Graham, uh... Death. Yeah, she didn't she even know nervous. that that uh, the Gilmore Girls, that they canceled Gilmore Girls. They thought they were going to have a season eight. Everyone really wanted to have a season eight, but then they were just like, I guess, ratings plummeted and X Y Z. At that point, they had moved to the CW after you know Warner Brothers and I can't even remember what that other channel was that merged before it was the CW. UPN, that was it. UPN. UPN okay. and um, Warner Brothers Network yeah, merged. Yeah, UPN came in. When that merger happened, we lost a bunch of great shows. Mm-hmm. I want to say the only couple that stayed on were, like, Gilmore Girls for that one season. Yeah. Supernatural, Supernatural was going stayed. on at that point. Which, Jared Padalecki, who was also on Gilmore Girls, <laughs> left left Gilmore Girls. Tight right in. Left, to, left Gilmore Girls to do Supernatural, which is still going on and is now in its 800th season, it feels like. I think they just started season 12. Yes. I mean, honestly, I, I, I haven't watched Supernatural. I know that there's a large Tumblr fan base for Supernatural. There's a large fan base in for, general. That That's a huge part of geekdom. Yes. Itself. Yes. And I keep... Again, I keep meaning to get into it, but like 12 seasons is kind of intimidating to get into. <laughs> if you stop after season 8, you're fine. Okay. Really? Is that what you did? I think so. <laughs> so just follow Kyle's example. Follow Kyle's example. Yeah. Well, it, it, came, it just became monotonous. They were doing the same things. People would die off. And it just, it doesn't seem like... I watched uh, this week's episode and it just doesn't seem like the heart's in it anymore. Right, that they're just going through the motions, right. but they're not really doing anything new with the show. Right. It's not as, oh my god, this is amazing, as, as it used to be. Yeah. After the, the angels and demons started coming in where they're not fight, they're fighting angels and or demons every episode, they're not hunting supernatural creatures anymore, it kind of became... I don't care. Yeah. I And that's why I'm kind of, you know, I don't... I mean, I know this might sound... I get hate for this, but yeah, if the get show anymore. gets... If it's getting into, like, 12 seasons, i.e. Grey's Anatomy, wrap it up. Come on. I Again, mean, it's been on for was, so long. Yeah, there was another one. I think they're wrapping it up at the end of this. I season. really hope so. And I know, and I know for a fact, I mean, I hadn't... I've gone back and forth between Grey's Anatomy. I've been watching it, you know, since I was a wee child. Since I was in high school, basically. With no. My mom and I. <laughs> that's what we would do Thursday nights. Um, and, I watched and, a few, the first maybe four or five seasons of it, and it just became Whore Hospital. Well, it was Whore Hospital since since episode one. Yes. But it just, it was... It was... We, and, this person's now with this person, and... And, oh, wait, you, no, you had to have a flow he's, chart he's fucking, to, you know, or some uh, sort of yeah. yeah. I, 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 I know what you mean. Um, I gave up. On I just it felt like I, when I was getting to the ends, like this, the season finales, I felt like everything was kind of like over the top. Especially when they got to the plane crash. Right. I was just like, nope, done, and I, you know, left, and I came back because I mean they killed off like two characters that had just joined in the last season right. it felt like which was probably like maybe two or three 
But, and now, I mean, I where I was previously, I was working at a, I won't name the station, but station, another ABC station where I was able to watch these episodes, and I kind of half ass watched them. Right. Uh, and I know the big thing was McDreamy dying, and everyone was like, why? Wait, what? He died? Yeah, they oh, killed him no, off. Steamy. They killed both of them off. They killed off Patrick. They pe- Dempsey? they killed off Patrick Dempsey. Huh. Patrick Dempsey is no more a part of the uh, Sloan Gray Memorial Hospital, which, by the way, that's what they changed the name to. Uh, I do remember that part. Yes, but that was a recent thing that happened uh, last, l- last season. season, since the new season is on now. My wife still watches it, so she feels bad. I just feel it's exhausting to keep up with shows like this now. I mean, I I feel like I need to keep watching them because I've already put in so much time and effort. It's like it's like a guilt show. Yep. Like I not that I f- enjoy watching it even. I feel like the show is guilting me in to keep watching it. <laughs> like I or like I've just wasted all of this time, wasted all of these hours watching Grey's Anatomy. I mean, I, at this point, I would kind of like part of my life back. <laughs> it's what you owe me. You owe me big. And that's how I felt with Glee at the end. Yes. But then Glee itself was an entire shitstorm that I'm not even going to get into right now. So we'll save that for the next episode. Yes, we will. So that's it for Coffee Break, episode one, season one, pilot episode, pilot episode, into the ground. <laughs> We'll see you next week.